Hello, this is Wayne Key from the Putnam County UT Extension Office. As more and more consumers seek self-sufficiency, many are finding success in their backyard gardens. Concurrently, the green movement continues to spur interest in organic practices and heirloom fruits and vegetables. Heirlooms are vintage varieties preserved by passing down seed through generations. Generally 50 to 100 years, heirlooms are always open pollinated and usually breed true to type. They often are selected for flavor potential and quality, and of course, prior to the development of commercial farming methodologies, heirlooms held a prominent place in the family farm. Today, many of these old-time favorites are finding a niche at local farmers markets and roadside stands. Many hybrid varieties are a cross between two other varieties to establish characteristics for mass marketing. Growers might cross tomato varieties for disease and resistance, uniformity and solid texture to improve shipping stability. Beans and cucumbers, cucumbers might also grow low to the ground on bush type plants, which allows for mechanized harvesting. Heirlooms require a different set of growing practices. Tomatoes are growing often indeterminate to require staking. Beans and cucumbers are mostly vine varieties that need trellising. The fruits may be more susceptible to disease and may do not, many do not hold up to excessive handling, for example, but these characteristics leave heirlooms poorly suited for commercial growers who sell to large wholesale markets. Smaller wholesale markets for heirloom growers include local restaurants, food cooperatives, and health food stores. Selling seed, transplant plants, and value-added products such as salsa or soup mix represent other income producing opportunities. The difference between hybrids and heirlooms arguably may be one of the quality versus quantity. It is noteworthy that heirlooms almost always are ripened on the vine, where hybrids are often picked in the green stage. This may account for taste and texture differences in the end. Whether you want to grow heirlooms to sell or simply for the enjoyment of your own table, many sources exist for good heirloom seeds. Because they are open pollinated, heirloom lines are much easier than hybrids to maintain. Look for reputable catalog companies that offer product descriptions in history. Again, this is Wayne Key from the Putnam County UT Extension Office. Happy gardening.